Hello, I'm Al and welcome to 16 Diesels. It is Saturday morning. We survived the storm without any massive damage. A few trees down, a bit of chopping up, but we've still got a roof, so we're looking at that as an upside. Um, even the manky perspex sheets above the doors even stayed in. Anyway, um, day off yesterday basically because we had no power, nothing worked, and we spent the entire day chopping up trees around the local area. Um, so uh, today I am back on Sprinter Footwells. Um, I'll try and stitch the driver's footstep in today and make the back sill fit and then I will go and remove the outer sill on sorry the, make the passengers sill fit not the drivers then I go over the other side and remove the rest of the drivers outer um, and show you how to well how, how I am or you should do to fit the, um, the new the new panels in um, right I'm going to get going more of the great marvelous time lapse and um, and I should be back in about half an hour I reckon So basically, um, I've stitched it in here and here. Um, if you look underneath, you'll see all the, I've got a re-spot weld it basically. So I've cleaned all the back off and removed all the silicon, or not the silicon, all the underseal. Um, I've gone and got our big spot welder, which is like an old um, multi-spot M80, I think. So obviously set the spot weld in, um, 0.8 really is good enough. I've up the, um, the time a little bit just to get a bit more heat into it um, and I've changed my tips to a um, to a reasonably manageable set which I think it was on door jam once before which are massive um, so basically I'm going to go for spot welding this now and then my next bit will be to put the new outer sill on which is over well, sorry outer sill inner sill on which is that over there So I have spot welded this in the joint, um, as you've just seen, um, and I have trimmed this. We just tacked it on here for the minute. This is the outer lower inner seal repair panel. Um, so he's basically what I'm going to do is we'll gingerly weld this all the way across and round, and then I can get clean out on the inside, which is clean, and then weld that. So it gives me two seams. Um, should hold that in there, good and solid. Um, in the back here, I couldn't make my mind up whether to actually cut this off here. Um, what I've decided to do is I've actually run a slit down the inside and tucked it over the top, which I reckon gives me the ability to put a, put a decent spot weld in here. Um, and I'll chase a little weld across the top. Um, <coughs> it's all cut in at the back here, so we've just sort of nibbled that off there because there didn't seem much point putting a whole big patch right over the top of that. Um, and then basically I'll just chase it in. And I've got a little, I'm going to put an angle plate in on the back of this corner here this this will actually tap in forwards because he's bashed backwards anyway so once they're all tapped in locked together um that should be fine and then i've got the big spot weld spot welder going again and i can spot weld this to this all the way through um and then what i'll do then is basically paint this in a sill um before we seal it all up because i mean half the trouble is you are at the end of the day and i think these are sort of half galvanized panels but i prefer to chuck a coat of paint on as well and i'll paint in here clean it all off. I've got this lip to, to square up a bit before I go and chuck the outer, outer foot well on. So I will put it, put the camera back on and we'll get doing a bit of welding and a, um, and a bit of spot welding. welded that all the way through there. I've got a bit tidying up to do here, and I'm still going to just finish the back in here, but I'm not going to take wheel off of that. Um, we're all welded up in here. We'll tidy this up a bit more and seam it up. Um, same in this end. We'll just put it tacked in. Um, welded in, in, in there, not the prettiest, admittedly, and we have got a little bit of blow through into the inner door post, but I think I'm not going to worry about that. We'll seal that and leave it. Um, this back cab corner is sort of tacked on, um, and obviously I'm going to have to try and remake that because this is absolutely battered to pieces um 
So my next plan, I'm gonna try and either, I'm gonna grind this fella out of here. Um, then also, I've gotta go through and clean this wheel arch lip up. There's a couple of bits need repairing. Um, one there, I think, where he's two, a couple of inches in there. Can see that or not? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty squatty. And uh, there, um, there's a big chunk missing. We'll see what we end up with left. And then basically, um, we're not far off of chucking, cutting this new wheel arch in. And then we've got a sill section. I can't actually, I spoke to the nice lads, the nice fella at Central Panels, um, and they can't actually do a, a, a one piece one of these anymore because he said the ones they were getting were such poor quality, um, and such the intent it wasn't worth it. So I've got the two downward sections and things, so I'll just join it here and then run it into the back of the cab over there. Should work fine for what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to put it back on time lapse in a minute and get rid of that load of manky fella. And then I'm going to either see if I can stud, pull, and straighten that, or worse come to worse, I'll just cut it out and put a new one in. Um, yeah, because I'm there's no reason why I can't drill that off another truck. And um, and then I say we've got to try and tidy all this up because it's a bit nasty just there and get rid of some of this. And then we'll make sure all of this is, is rubbed off and painted before I stick the rear wheel arch on because I'm front wheel arch on, sorry. I'm going to have to uh, clean all this up, make sure this is all tapped back flat again because obviously it's a little bit bent from um, from being cut off, but I don't think that's too bad apart from that bit. But yeah, so these panels are galvanized, try to grind it off and they spit and go. Um, I don't particularly like that hole, but I don't think it's actually going to hurt because um, obviously it's inside the structure of the inner double pillar in here, it's actually boxed in. So, um, so we'll probably leave that seal it up because we'll do more damage trying to chase it than we will do good. Uh, right, I'm going to get back on and um, we'll be back in a bit. So, after a bit of uh, body filler removal, there's actually some steel in behind there, and I reckon it's not going to be perfect, but we can pull that straight in it enough. It's going to have to have a small skim of filler in it. So now I am literally, I've got to deal with this, because this cab corner that we've got doesn't quite cover that hole, but that's fine. And colour section into there. Um, we'll end up joining here, but there's not much can be done about that. That can be joined and hidden. So basically, we thought I'd have, oh, well, I thought I'd have a, um, just a quick fit up to make sure everything... So we're going to have to cut in here and double all this and make sure this line is nicely joined and not seeable because you can see it in the door liner. All this can be spot welded. Um, I've cleaned this lip up and I've got some bits to replace. Um, and we've just, I have just gently stuck, or quite quickly stuck a wing on um, so I can run the, just check the gap on the front here so make sure my panels are where they should be. Um, and I'm going to strip this back off again. Right, so I need some... Well, pair sections basically that I don't have. Um, I can leave the corner in it down there. And my other truck has got this bit quite badly battered. Now this is a dead 310 and we have sat out in the yard and as you can see, um, she was well past it. But unbelievably, that inner witch wheel arch lip is really good. And to be honest, the wheel arch is really good, but we can't take that off anyway. So what I'm gonna do is unseam all of this cut that back bit off so I can use that. I want to cut this bit off with the top quality rips all so that um, so I can use the cut the inner lip off of this and fit it to the other one. I'm going to cut this clean through here is pretty somewhere straight through below that fuel feather so I can nick that old panel drill spot welds either side. And so I can just cut the old corner of the cab off take it in the warm and the dry. Um, and then I reckon that will probably help me a bus load to get the other one to get the other one really square. Cutting flat after a bit of top quality sawing. I've got myself a little cab corner repair section. Car off. Um, got rid of There's a old bit of steel on the inside. That one was a bit harder. We'll clean that up afterwards. So that one can go. I'll drill it up to a line and then figure out and spot weld this one back on. And I'll just have to weld across. It shouldn't be too bad. 
and I have chopped a bit of it in a wheel arch off with the right profile um, to repair that. So basically, I'm going to get more cutting and drilling, um, and then we'll get that lopped off, this cut to size, and then that chucked on there. Sounds like a cutting plan to me, and then I'll have to cut that there into, I reckon, into there rather than coming up too high because it will look better. Right, so that's that hacked off. As you can see, it's pretty bent. But that pretty much gets rid of the last of the grot. So what I'm going to do before I go home to, for the day is some um, sweaty sheep it to death in here while I can get in here. Um, and then hopefully that'll keep a bit more of the uh, dreaded sprinter rustiness out. And um, it shouldn't be too much of a fire hazard because we have only got to... Um, Spot well mainly, apart from here. I mean, it's not up, but I haven't got weld up there, so I'm just keep fire extinguisher on it. But anyway, so that is God on Saturday today. So uh, we made a bit of progress. I've um, welded that together. I've now got to adjust that end to make with my top quality repair patch gone. This section fit. So um, I'm going to cut that. I reckon along the lip here somewhere. I'll probably jog all this edge of it. Down through there, so juggle through there, juggle through there, so I can plump the other one over the top of it, and then um, we'll just seat it in. Um, and then I'm going to have to obviously cut this one, measure it up, but I've got the other one as a pattern now, and make sure that the two are cut together and it runs in nicely, because that's going to be a huge great block weld, basically. Um, yeah, and that should see a bit less rust in my Mercedes Sprinter. So we are back on the Sprinter, quickly, it is, I think it's Wednesday, so I've got a bit of a quiet period, I'm halfway through this, but I've also I've got to go and cut a windscreen panel out for that, and it's horrible out there and pissing down, so I'm going to leave that till later, Dom's back, thank Christ, he's going to give me a hand, pop the windscreen out, that's another video if you want to see one, um, it's on one of the other, if you scroll through my, um, my videos, you'll see it, we're rebuilding this Mercedes T1, um, and trying to repair that bulkhead. But anyway, back to the dear old um, 310, 310D. Um, so I have got the time lapse. I've repaired this inner wing. It's all covered in weldable primer. Um, we've put some sections in there. I've um, I've jointed this in here. It hasn't come out exactly as I'd like it, but it's it's not bad. Um, it's going to want a little bit of filler whipped over it just to hide it. But it is a welded joint. It's pretty good. It's where it should be. Um, so what I'm going to do now, um, I've just trimmed the back of this cab up. He's tacked in at the back here. Um, and then I'm going to go around and seam these two together. Um, once this is all joined, um, then basically it's, um, I'm going to go spot welding. But I can pull, shove, bend, bash on this panel to get him where I want. As long as he's all right there, I'll clamp it along this line here. Um, so that basically the door shuts in the right place and then I can pull the sill around to make the two meet, obviously, because everything is new, the inner is new, um, the outer is new. Um, we've had to join this panel, I say, because you can't, you can't actually buy a decent quality complete. Um, but as I say, it's, um, it's, it's coming on all right. I'm going to go back on time-lapse. Most of this will be time-lapse, but you know where I'm coming from. And, um, and I'm going to get welding that back um, corner up, hopefully not curl it up in a heap. And, um, and we should be good. Thank you. 
did come out reasonably well. I mean, nothing's ever going to be perfect, perfect. Because as I say, as I say, I'm not a panel beater. I think I trained as a farmer, basically. Um, you might be able to tell. But um, so all we are now is we can go back on all these are clean on the inside. We can go load of spot welds across here, up here. Um, spot weld this inner arch all back together once we've pulled it in. What I will probably do is spot weld all of this first and I am going to have to slightly stretch the lower panels to get everything to meet up. Um, but not that that's a particularly great worry. Anyway, um, I think we're going to weld the spot welder over here and I'm have a pretty sizable thing. It's lunchtime, so I reckon a cup of coffee and some food and then back to it. is basically fire some bit of filler work here bit of filler work here here yeah, and obviously on this join that is that Ooh, nicely oh, it's nice because I can do it anyway so I'll new back and um, I'm gonna go find the rubber bungs but I'll um, clean all this off and um, seal it up and clearing some of this thank you under silly stuff that's all leaking off here and uh, um, and then obviously um, this piece will have to be painted along with the cap, so we'll get that all prepped up. Um, this line's going to have to be very minimal skimmer filler. Same with that the front there, and obviously on my two panel joints, what I'm going to do now <coughs> is give this a quick blow out, and then um, I've, I'll gravitax it. I would have thought probably one of the most good products we use. Fill it right up. Make sure one thing you always need to make sure on these is there is a drain just there. So once you've filled it up with gooch, make sure the drain still works. And, um, and I'm going to clean all this up and, um, and I'll sling a wing back on it just for the meanwhile. And the uh, next thing I think is the door and the other side. Right, so I have cleaned out Gravitax the entire step um, up into here. So there's got dirt all over it, but basically that should keep it from going festy and manky. Um, chuck the wing back on, just chuck the fitment. And gap's pretty good. Um, I reckon that might do it for this week. Um, sadly, I'd like to do a door, uh, the video on doing the other door for this side, but I don't reckon I'm going to get there till the weekend. Um, so I'll edit this one, chuck it together, and um, you guys can have a watch of this, and then we'll be back on the dear, very rusty T1, and, um, and I will get round to sorting blah, 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 doors. Right, guys, um, have a good weekend, and... Um, and we shall see you later.